Hey y'all, I am going to a ball. Well, I'm going to a ball in like six months and I have nothing appropriate to wear to this ball. So I need to get started now on whatever it is I'm gonna make. So I'm fully undecided on the dress. I'm undecided on accessories, hair, everything. I don't even know like what theming I wanna do because of course I'm gonna have a theme. And since I'm just not ready to decide on that, but I still need to start on something. So I'm going to start with my undergarments, my foundational garments. This video, I'm gonna be making my stays. I'm gonna be making Simplicity 8579. I made the mock-up and I made one that I thought I might wear, but the fabric ended up being a little too bright and depending on what I make, I don't want the stays to kind of like steal the show. So I'm gonna run to the store real quick and grab some new supplies. You guys can come with me and then we'll get started on these. Oh, before we go shopping, um, could you please like and subscribe and maybe leave me a little comment when you're done with this video? I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. We all know that I love Joanne and I don't have much forethought when it comes to planning projects. So I ran and grabbed some canvas and I'm gonna grab some twill tape and something for the lining, I'm not sure yet. Since I've already made this pattern now twice, once as a mock-up and once as another version, I knew that I needed to take roughly an inch out at the waist just so it actually, the tabs went up to my waistline. Other than that, I left this pattern as is, which is pretty shocking to me, but um, always glad to not have to mess around too much with the pattern. We're gonna start cutting out our fabric. It's gonna be four pattern pieces. I just went with one outer and one interlining, and then I'm gonna do a lining. The pattern instructions say something different than what I'm doing, so if you want to read those beforehand and decide what you want to do, that's probably going to be best. To be kind to myself, I'm going to go ahead and prep a bunch of bobbins. The pattern has us do a bunch of boning channels, and I don't want to have to stop when I'm in the flow of that and have to refill the bobbin. I don't usually do this, so this is being very kind to myself. After we base the outer and the interlining pieces, we need to start mapping out these boning channels. I'm doing that with a good old ruler and pencil and the guides that were given to me on the pattern. The part is most satisfying. It's kind of fun to stitch those boning channels, but the way that I was doing it on my machine was really wasteful of thread. I don't know if it was just me. Okay, I do know it was me, but my machine's a little finicky sometimes, so... After all the boning channels, we're gonna start by attaching all the pieces together from center front all the way to center back. As we're completing those seams, we want to trim down the interlining and iron down the entire seam. Now we add the boning. Um, mine are zip ties, like many other costumers out there. It's just cheap. It was already in my garage. I didn't have to really think about it. And, ah, looks magical, huh? The pattern advises this, but I don't really think it's necessary, but to stitch down your seams. Putting out a steam to continue the project, so we just put on a show, and I did this to wind down the day. We are back for day two of this project, I left off on a good spot. I need to start binding the bottom tab. This is probably the most painful of all the steps. It's just time consuming and you should really go slow and take your time doing it. I machine sewed the binding to the outer part of the stays and then I folded it over and I stitched it down to the inside to make it as clean as possible. Now this is where I goofed a little bit. I should have added the lining piece before I folded that over. This pattern advises adding the lining piece and then binding up the stays around that. 
Instead, I ended up setting my lining into it, stitching along the top. Then I hand stitched the lining down at the tabs where I'd already bound the stays. We are going to then bind the top of the stays and I did that the same technique, machine sewing and then hand sewing it down on the inside. Then all that's left is adding the tabs for the straps and getting the eyelets or grommets added to this. I was gonna hand sew the eyelets for it, but I did not feel like doing that. So here's me doing really awful grommets because I'm terrible at them. I really enjoyed this pattern. It was pretty simple to work with. The most difficult part was the bottom binding, which I think we all in this community kind of are well aware of. Any other changes that I would make were my own choices, like my fabric or not adding all the layers. Next time I will add more layers and I will definitely file down whatever I'm using for boning. Thanks for watching. Now I need to go decide what dress I'm actually going to make for this ball.